Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to a live video episode of uh, MV Passion, MV Passion, in which I'm going to showcase my entire DVD collection, my entire DVD Blu-ray and box set collection in three parts, or in three acts, if you will. Uh, I've done this video before, uh, actually it was my first video on my channel was my DVD and Blu-ray collection in uh, 2017, in January of 2017. Back then I, w I was weighing over 200 pounds. Now I weigh like 165, 170. So I've, you know, I've, I've lost a considerable amount of weight. I've done a considerable amount of things uh, from 2017 to 2020. I was 18, now I'm 21, and so it's weird. And my collection over the time, over the course of from 2017 to 2020, has grown considerably. And by considerably, I mean, yeah, very much so. <laughs> very much considerably that I bought two closets to store all of my DVDs, Blu-rays, and box sets. You saw that little preview at the beginning that was a Casey Neistat ripoff that, um, you know, my collection has grown quite a bit. So, I, like I said, I'm going to split this web series, we're going to call it a mini-series, in which I'm going to show in detail my entire DVD and Blu-ray collection. We are actually going to start with the box sets, get the box sets out of the way, and then we're going to move on to the DVDs, and finally, in my opinion, the pièce de résistance, the cherry on top of the cake, the Blu-rays. A lot of Criterion Blu-rays, a lot of rare Blu-rays, a lot of rare DVDs as well that I uh, was able to find them at a considerable price on Amazon, if you will. A lot of relatively unknown movies that I have now that I believe people will enjoy. So, without any further ado, I'm using my hands a lot. Let's go and dive into the box sets. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I have a lot of box sets, quite a bit of box sets, if you will. Um, and uh, this might take a little bit of time, but this is actually the first uh, section, or the only section, that I'm actually going to show in depth what I have. Um, because if I show all my DVDs and Blu-rays in depth, like some channels do, Brandon's Movie Corner, I was going to say Brandon the Movie Guy, but Brandon the Movie Guy was when I was little, too. Uh, and Tommy Givens, they do that, they, they showcase all the DVDs, Blu-rays in detail, it's going to take like eons. But, you know, actually, you probably want to know, I don't know why you want to know that, but what is in those uh, boxes? I have one that's hidden right here that I'm going to show uh, at the end. But uh, if not, I really don't have any order, so we're going to start with The Simpsons. I have three uh, Simpsons sets. Uh, I, I, you know, it's kind of pointless now to collect them because all seasons are on Disney+, Plus except for one episode, which is the Michael Jackson episodes. Uh, and with the original aspect ratio. Now, this is the first season of The Simpsons. Ah, fuck. Oh, no, it's actually... It's actually the other way. Or not. Oh, Jesus. You have to open it. Woohoo! So, yeah, it's a little bit... But this is the first season of The Simpsons on DVD. And now I don't believe that they are actually releasing any seasons of... Any seasons of The Simpsons on DVD, which is, in my opinion, it's kind of sad. But what the fuck? Oh, that's weird. Yeah. But uh, anyways, I don't really watch uh, The Simpsons uh, on um, on DVD. There, all the seasons are on Disney Plus and actually really good quality. Uh, and now with the original aspect ratio too. Uh, I can actually, if I want to, <laughs> binge The Simpsons. That's the first season. I also have the second season of The Simpsons. 
How, how the fuck do you open? You have to do this. What's the image here? Like Homer and Maggie. No, this one, the the guide is a little bit more pristine, so I'm going to show it. They just it it's basically all the episodes, a little description of the episodes. Yeah. And you got what? This one, this two. What the shit, man? Holy cow. These sets really aren't good. You have to be very careful. But like I said, I've I've seen uh, the first and two seasons on DVD when I was when I was a kid. But uh, I haven't watched it since, if you will. And I also have the ninth season of The Simpsons. I think it was 200 episodes. Lisa rocks. So, um, yeah. I actually really like this set. Because it's, um, you know, it's, it's weird because now, DVDs and Blu-rays, they don't have that design anymore. Except for, like, Criterion and a few others. It's all, you know, boring gray, blue discs. This is kind of like a Rolling Stone magazine called Rocking Stone. Yeah, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a huge fan of The Simpsons. As some other people are. But I enjoy it. From time to time. I should probably get on binging The Simpsons. Okay. Okay, this is a weird set to have. This is a, the uh, collection, the entire collection of Jean Epstein's filmography, I believe. I believe all of his movies. Yes. But it actually does not work. <laughs> Uh, here it says it says here region all, but it's actually a region two DVD, uh, and so it only works for fr uh, French players. Or if you have a PS4, you can change the region, but you can only change it up to five times, which I find absolutely dumb. So like I said, this is all of his movies, I believe. This is all or most of Jean Epstein's uh, film. We have to keep this. It's a very, very, very neatly um, produced and conceived set. However, it is out of print. So this is a rare set to own. But uh, when I see something and I bargain the price for, not bad. I've seen uh, Le Tempestaire so far. Where is it? 22 minute film, this one right here. It was pretty good. And you've got a nice, really nice booklet on all of his movies, some information, it's amazing. And other, yeah, other uh, information on Epstein as well. So really if you're a cinephile or a cinebro or yeah, if you're a Cinebro, then uh, you're probably going to love this. Okay, let's uh, continue. Okay, We're, we have another rare out-of-print uh, set, which is the Criterion Collection's John Cassavetti's five films. And the five films are Shadows Faces a Woman Under the Influence, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, and Opening Night. And so this is the um, a collection of, I would say, important films from John Cassavetes. Now, how do we open this? Like goes like this? No. I believe so. I have no idea. So, as you can see, right here. And uh, yes, this is the, actually the only Cassavetti film from that set that I've seen, which is Shadows, which was pretty good. Completely improvised. How was it? It was like this. Oh well. Uh, okay, you got Faces. Cassavetti's is Faces. I have not seen this movie. And this is a DVD set. It's also out of print, so I bought it off Amazon at a reasonable price. I actually bargained with uh, the person that uh, uh, that was selling it. A woman under the influence, and he actually agreed with the price. So, props to him. 
of the killing of a Chinese bookie. Right here. And... Oops. Opening night. I think that has uh, Gina Rollins. Who was... John Cassavetti's wife. And I believe this is a documentary on John Cassavetti's, A Constant Forge, The Life and Art of John Cassavetti's that is included... 200 minutes, holy shit. Um, in the set, plus, obviously, with every Criterion uh, Collection set, there is a booklet. Like this. Okay. What's great about this is that I can actually, actually edit it afterwards. So you've got... Okay, before we move, we, we move on to the bigger sets, we're going to go through all these. So we're going to go through another Criterion set, if you will. This is a Blu-ray set, I believe. Yes. Uh, this is the Dietrich and Von Sturberg in Hollywood, which I think it's still on sale. I think it's not out of print. Uh, it contains Morocco, Dishonored, Shanghai Express, Blonde Venus, The Scarlet Empress, and The Devil is a Woman. I've only seen The Scarlet Empress, which I liked very much. I thought it was a little weird. But whatever. And I'm going to go through these one by one. I can do this. Woo! Okay, so you got Morocco. With, like I said, it's, it's all Sternberg films. Joseph von Sternberg films with Marlon, uh, Marlene Dietrich. And if I if I'm put it like this. Uh, the Scarlet Empress, like I said, is the only one that I've seen. That I really liked. I thought it was a little odd at times, but... Uh, I liked it as well. Dishonored. I really like these covers. Uh, Shanghai Express. I've heard great things about this movie, Shanghai Express. I need to watch it. Yeah, The Blonde Venus. And The Devil is a Woman. Okay, and obviously, like I said, the booklet that comes with. So you got, you know, Criterion, very comprehensive, if you will, um, set. Uh, and, you know, they never gimp on quality. Like, the movies look great, they sound great, but there's also plenty of supplemental material on all of them. And this is why I subscribe to the Criterion channel. Uh, in these quarantine times. So it gives me a lot of shit to watch. Alright, moving on, we have... Um, this is a Quebec set. It is uh, Michel Brault's works from 1958 to 1974, which contains 15 films from the National Film Board of Canada. So these are all his movies. These are all Quebec films. Some of them are pretty important uh, for cinema ver verite, like... Uh, Pour la suite du monde, and Les Raqueteurs, also La Lutte. Actually, the first DVD is, is, is the one is the one that's pretty much important. I've seen some of his, some of these movies, like Pour la suite du monde, I've seen it. I think it's overrated. La Lutte, Les Raqueteurs, and Geneviève, and Entre la Mer et d'autres. I've seen all these. I've seen, I've seen these movies. But uh, yeah, many cinebros will tell you that it's art. Uh, I don't know, filming people, old people, fishing, fishing whales for me. And they, they, they talk in this really thick Quebecan accent from this, you know, early 60s. The technique is art, but the film ain't art for me. So as you can see, these are all the movies that are included in the DVDs. And these are all the DVDs. Oh, and there's a bonus disc, I think. Yeah, two, uh, two documentaries. Oh, this one I've seen. I liked it. Like this, like this, yay. So, you know, all these dark parts I'll be able to edit. Alright, this is a, this I believe is a, is a uh, out of print Criterion collection set, which is Rainer Werner Fassbinder's BRD trilogy, which includes The Marriage of Maria Braun, Veronica Voss, and Lola. I've only seen Lola. But now the Criterion channel has a great version of Lola in HD. This is an SD, and it kind of looks bad. <laughs> okay, this is the what, the the booklet. Lola contains a lot of really great colors. 
And this is what, like, oh, this is a catalog of the Criterion Collection. This is from 2006. Interesting. This is the supplements disc, so it probably contains all the special features. Then you've got The Marriage of Maria Braun, uh, Veronica Voss, and Lola. Lola is the movie with a bunch of uh, pretty colors, if you will. <laughs> uh, Lola is a great movie, fantastic movie. All right, here's a cut because I uh, stopped filming. This is just for, for my editing, if you will. This is a pretty much important set if you're a film student. It's called 1894-1913, The Movies Begin. It's a treasury of early cinema. It's got 133 complete motion pictures from Kino Video. So you got here The Great Train Robbery and other primary works, The European Pioneers, Experimentation, Discovery, The Magic of Media Eyes, and Comedy, Spectacle, and New Horizons. I believe I... You got the Great Train Robbery and other primary works. I believe I have the Magic of Melee Eyes, like a separate DVD too, that came with. They put it on my collection. You got the European Pioneers. Uh, you've got the Experimentation and Discovery. These are really pre cinema. Most of the works from yeah, Melies, the Magic of Melies. Oh, there's another set called the Magic of Melies that I have. And Comedy Spectacle and New Horizons. So early D.W. Griffith. And not bad D.W. Griffith. I do not like The Birth of a Nation. Okay, so... Next, we have the Harry Potter Complete 8-Film Blu-ray Collection. I used to have, if you look at my 2017 video, I used to have the DVD collection, but I upgraded it to Blu-ray. Once I ask them for questions. Okay, if you want the digital code, I'm not going to use it. Here it is. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a booklet, that's for sure. I honestly don't much care about these booklets. And I believe they're pictures? Oh, pictures of uh, Hogwarts. Let me just see what it is. Yeah, pictures of Hogwarts. Pointless. <laughs> it is pointless. Actually, I'm going to put the digital code in, in that envelope. So this is, okay, this is the first one, years one through four, so it contains all uh, first four movies. So Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, not the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, I'm glad they decided to rename the movie. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I kept calling it Globlet, Globlet of Fire. I believe it also has the extended version of the movie, the extended cut. Yeah. So you get the theatrical version and the extended version of the first two movies, I believe. Chamber of Secrets also. Chamber of Secrets is a long ass movie. And then you've got uh, years five through seven. So you've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, and then the, the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. So the Order of the Phoenix, the Order of the Phoenix is my favorite one. Just, you know, looking in depth so you guys can see how the box sets look look like. And then I'm going to put it all back, if you will. I keep saying if you will, but it's, it's a force of habit, if you will. That was a joke. Okay. All right. Let's go with this one. This is one of my, this is one of my biggest finds. I found this at a yard sale. Sin City Recut Extended. I also have the theatrical version on Blu-ray. You got the... The recut extended version of the movie. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty damn good. It's actually a really amazing DVD set. But um, yeah, so you got a comic actually. Okay, the hard goodbye. The entire comic included from Frank Miller 
himself. It's awesome. And then you got the movie. You have the two versions of the movie. So you have the theatrical version on DVD, and you also have the extended version. But I also have the, the, the theatrical version on Blu-ray because I prefer better quality, if you will. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Uh, four by Agnès Varda. The reason why I want to get rid of it is I actually want to get the newer Blu-ray set of every single Agnès Varda film, uh, which includes, this is for Criterion, this is a DVD set, I believe it's out of print, La Pointe Courte, Clio from 5 to 7, or Clio de 5 à 7, La Bonne Heure, and Vagabond. So, four movies by Agnès Varda. Uh, I've only seen these two, La Pointe Courte and Clio de 5 à 7. So yeah, the reason why I do why I want to get rid of it is because I want to get the updated Blu-ray set which contains all of her movies. Uh, so this is La Pointe Courte. Pretty good movie. I'm not a huge fan of Valdez, most people are. Like Cleo from 5 to 7. It's, it's good. It's not great. Le Bonheur. I really do want to see that movie though. And Vagabond. I've seen a few other Valda films. And you have the booklet also. I've seen the Gleaners and I, Les Glaneurs et la Glaneuse, which was, quite frankly, I will say it because I'm unapologetic, it was quite frankly qu cringeworthy, especially when she rapped. I was just, it was just odd. And it was not good. I didn't really like it. <laughs> Hey, I'm honest. I'm an honest film critic, if you will, because I'm not a film critic. Okay, this is another Quebec set. This is Gilles Cal. This is all of all of his movies? Or most of his movies? No, five five of his movies. So, La Vie Heureuse de Léopold Z, La Vraie Nature de Bernadette, Les Corps Célestes, La Mort d'un Bûcheron et La Tête de Normande Saint-Onge. I've only seen this one, La Mort d'un Bûcheron, which I really liked. I thought it was great. So again, you know, Quebec cinema, most people don't care about Quebec cinema. I really think Quebec cinema sucks. But there are some pretty good directors out there, like Denis Villeneuve, who directed Blade Runner 2049. Uh, you know, wh whom I think is a, is a genius. But again, he's not directing Quebec films. He's directing American films. Because the Quebec films that he made, A Sans Z, Party Technic, they never really soared. Oh, there is, you know, there's a fan base for these movies. I wouldn't say Party Technic has a fan base. But, you know... When people talk about Villeneuve now, they talk about Sicario, Prisoners, Enemy, Arrival, Blade Runner, Doom, which is coming out tentatively in December. But, you know, they never talk about, they never talk about Denis Villeneuve as a Quebec filmmaker. This is set number one of Johan van der Keuken's filmography. So I believe all of his sets con uh, contains all of his movies. But I don't have all of his uh, uh, sets. I have a few. So this is what I love: Cash, Beauty, and a moment's a moment's silence. And Kirken, I believe, is a documentary filmmaker. I've seen some of his movies, not all of them. I think his longest movie is uh, Amsterdam Global Village. I learned shit in film school. I've seen this one, The Eye Above the Well, which I thought was completely strange. Especially the opening of the movie was weird. Really weird. And you got Face Value and The Mask, but he's a remarkable filmmaker. He really is. Get yourself the pleasure to watch some Van der Kuyken. Up next, we got the Bruce Lee Ultimate Collection on DVD. Now, uh, I'm probably going to get rid of this also uh, because Criterion announced a Blu-ray set which contains all these movies plus Enter the Dragon, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Where the Dragon, Game of Death, Game of Death 2, and a few others, I believe. So again, you got The Big Boss. I'm not going to show what's inside because it's you know, boring DVDs. Fist of Fury... With Dragon, 
Game of Death, which, by the way, Bruce Lee died before this movie com was completed, so uh, sometimes it's a double and it's painfully obvious and also painfully bad. Uh, only, like, the last 30 minutes are worth watching. And Game of Death 2, which, you know, Bruce Lee died before Game of Death 1 came out, so how the fuck did he film Game of Death 2? Stock footage, of course. And Game of Death 2 is quite strange. Okay, before we jump in the big sets, we've got a few more. So this is the, uh, not entire, but most of the Pink Panther movies by Blake Edwards. Uh, it doesn't contain Inspector Clouseau with Alan Arkin and Curse of the Pink Panther and Son of the Pink Panther. It's, it stops with Pink Panther, Shot in the Dark, Pink Panther Strikes Again, Revenge of the Pink Panther, Trail of the Pink Panther, and a bonus disc. It doesn't have Curse and Son of the Pink Panther which would have completed uh, the series. And also, uh, it <laughs> it tells you how to open the discs, which I think is completely pointless, but we're not going to do it. And also, the set is in French, but the movies are not. I mean, they are dubbed in French, but that's not the language of the of the original movies. Uh, this is this uh, collector's edition of Jean Renoir movies. So you've got Whirlpool of Fate... Nana, Charleston Parade, and The Little Match Girl, La Marseillaise, Doctor's Horrible Experiment, and The Elusive Corporal. And it's uh, designed as a clapperboard. Quite ingenious. This is actually from Lionsgate. It's not from uh, Criterion. It's also really badly put together. Jesus. Get out of here. Okay. I've only seen The Doctor's Horrible Experiment, which was really, like I said, strange. This contains Whirlpool of Fate and Nana, yeah? And then, oh, okay, two discs here, that's weird. Uh, Charles Pompey, The Little Magic Girl, and the Marseillaise, and then finally, The Doctor's Horrible Experiment and the Elusive Whirlpool. The Doctor's Horrible Experiment is sort of a, I would say it's a riff or a, a re-adaptation, if you will, of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Weirdly designed set, if you will. All right, and finally, before we move on to the big sets, we've got the Masterpiece Collection of Alfred Hitchcock, which I got it used, so it is in pretty, yeah, pretty bad shape. So you've got Saboteur, Shadow of a Doubt, Rope, and Rear Window. When I got it, the Rope DVD didn't work. So like I said, I got it used, so it's a pretty much useless. So it's pretty much like just a collector's... Um, Item now uh, because it's out of print. So you got Vertigo, The Men Knew Too Much, The Trouble in Harry with Harry and Psycho, uh, The Birds of Marnie, Torn, Torn Curtain, and Topaz, and finally Frenzy and Family Plot plus a bonus disc. It's a great set, you know. Alfred Hitchcock, one of the greatest filmmakers ever uh, of all time, but. I got it used, so I was very disappointed, and it reminded me never to get things used anymore. All right, now let's move on to the big sets. So first up, I got all the James Bond movies, Bond 50. Unfortunately, I, w I got it as a kid, and I put some tape on it. So the these contain... All of the Bond movies up to Skyfall. So we're going to go through it real quick. So you got Dr. No from Russia with Love. And actually, they all have the Bond girls attached to it. So that's Ursula Andress, Daniela Bianchi, I think. Goldfinger, Hunter Blackman, Thunderball. It's Claude Dino She died recently. You Only Live Twice. I don't know who that is. This is my favorite Bond movie. Honor Majesty's Secret Service. All-time favorite Bond movie. I love Diana Rigg. I love George Lazenby. He's not my favorite Bond. The film is incredible. It's a work of art. It's one of the best action movies ever made. I love it. Diamonds Are Forever, that's Jill St. John. Live and Let Die, that's Jane Seymour. Men with the Golden Gloves, Is that Britt Eklund. The Spy Who Loved Me, that's Barbara Bagg. The Spy Who Loved Me is um, my favorite Roger Moore Bond film. Moonraker, this movie's shit. Four Years Eyes Only, I love Carole Bouquet, and I love the movie as well. It's an incredible movie, except for like the last five minutes. The Margaret Thatcher bit, bit was quite offensive. Moonraker is the worst Bond film. Oh, no. 
the second worst Bond film. The worst Bond film is Die Another Day. <laughs> uh, Octopussy, A View to a Kill. I don't have Never Say Never Again. By the way, Never Say Never Again is the unofficial Bond movie with uh, Sean Con Connery. The Living Daylights. License to Kill, which I think is a fairly underrated movie. Though I'm not a big fan of uh, Pam Bouvier. Who played her? It'll come up to me. Golden Eye. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. The World Is Not Enough. Die Another Day, which is the worst Bond film. Casino Royale. Quantum of Solace, which I don't think is a terrible movie. It doesn't have a compelling title. Uh, and Skyfall. A bonus disc. These are all the Bonds. And that's it. So this is the Bond 50 box set. All right now the more ambitious sets are here. This is Batman, the television series, the entire television series with Adam West and Burt Ward. Now this used to work, but now it's well. I don't, now it either doesn't work or it's really creepy. Let's let's see. Holy shit! Yo. <laughs> What's up? Uh, if you actually want to see how it sounds like in pristine quality, you can actually watch my Blu-ray collection, which is the second video that I made on this channel. I'm going to link it below. You can barely hear it, but it sounds completely strange and bewildering. I think what I will do after the fact, I'm just going to boost the sound <laughs> so you guys can hear it. It's really fucking weird. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. That is scary. Uh, this is number 59218 of 95,000. It's a limited edition set. I got this for Christmas. My late grandfather gave it to me. I don't have the card set anymore. I got rid of it. I know. This is a model of the Batmobile, which I love. I got rid of the card set because I thought it was useless. I know. This is the episode guide. You've got also a book, the Adam West uh, scrapbook. And then you've got the seasons. So you've got season one, season two, and season three. Uh, I do want to show them, but my battery's dying, so I'm trying to speed it up a bit. I know it's weird. Burgess Meredith, Meredith plays the penguin. Love the penguin. I love how campy the show is. Season two. Vincent Price. And Cesar Romero as a Joker. Season three. Only three seasons, but a great impact. Uh, I think it's exp I think it's expired. Yes, it is. But here's the code if uh, you want to try it. I got this in 2014. By my late grandfather, who gave this to me for Christmas, because I was a big fan of Batman the movie. The um, the movie with Adam West and Burt Ward. I was a big fan of it growing up, so he gave it to me as a gift. Then I watched the whole show. I loved it. It's campy as hell. All right, so this is the final box set that I own, which is the Best of Warner Brothers 100 Film Collection, another limited edition. This is 11,341 out of 40,000. Also given to me by my late grandfather. Uh, I have this as a pure novelty object. The DVDs are garbage in this. This is a DVD set that... The, Blu-ray set had 50 movies, and uh, <laughs> 100 movies is better than 50, but it's, it's, really, it's a really crappy set, to be honest. Uh, it was supposed to be this really ambitious DVD set, and I was severely disappointed by it. So, essentially, so you got like the Jazz Singer, the Broadway Melody, Cimarron, and the Public Enemy. So essentially, I'm going to pull up a DVD so you guys can see. This is bad, I'm using my fingers, but essentially, like... One movie is on one side, so like the jazz singer is on one side, and then the other movie is on the other side. Flipper discs. That is something that you use. Uh, cheap DVDs, they do this. Not high quality, high end studios like Warner Brothers. When I got it, I was really happy. because It was actually a Christmas present. I was a little kid, I saw this and I immediately wanted it. <laughs> I was very happy, and then when I saw what they were doing with the DVDs, I was severely disappointed. But, I mean, great movies. The jazz singer is culturally insensitive today. 
completely inappropriate. Grand Hotel, 42nd Street, Mutiny on a Bounty, A Night of the Opera. The Great Ziegfeld, Ziegfeld, Bringing Up Baby, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Dark Victory, Gone with the Wind, which is in one disc, The Wizard of Oz, and The Philadelphia Story. Citizen Kane, The Maltese Falcon, Yankee Doodle Dandy, Mrs. Maniver, Casablanca, Gaslight, Anchors Away, uh, Mildred Pierce, The Big Sleep, The Best Years of Our Lives, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, A Streetcar Named Desire, An American in Paris, Singing in the Rain, uh, the remake of the, uh, the Star is Born, the first, the first remake of The Star is Born, uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, The Searchers, this movie sucks, I don't care, um, it is beautifully shot, yes, beautifully choreographed, the action scenes, it's, oh my god, I watched it in January, I found it profoundly racist and really stereotypical, it was terrible, oh my god, uh, Around the World in 80 Days, Giant, yes, these are two long movies, uh, Face in the Crowd, Jailhouse Rock, Cat on the Haunted Roof, North by Northwest, Ben-Hur, how the West Was Won, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Viva Las Vegas, Dr. Zhivago, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, The Dirty Dozen, Cool Hand Luke, and 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is Volume 1, and Volume 2, which contains more contemporary movies, of course. Uh, Bullet, The Wild Bunch, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Dirty Harry, uh, Cabaret, A Clockwork Orange, Enter the Dragon, but I also have the DVD of Enter the Dragon. And there, there are many movies like, that I have on Blu-ray and separate DVDs also. This is pretty much a collector's item now. Uh, the Exorcist, Blazing Saddles, Dark Day Afternoon, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, All the President's Men. I watched this recently. Amazing movie. And by the way, these are the old DVDs. Like, it's like an old version of an old DVD. So they didn't even put any effort whatsoever into the release of the DVDs. They just put a bunch of movies together on flipper discs. It was... Honestly, a very disappointing, very disappointing set. Uh, Superman the Movie, The Shining, Caddyshack, Clash of the Titans, the original one, Chariots of Fire, The Outsiders, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, Risky Business, The Right Stuff, Amadeus, the Director's Cut, The Goonies, The Color Purple, Lethal Weapon, Full Metal Jacket, Batman, Driving Miss Daisy, Goodfellas, Unforgiven, The Bodyguard, The Fugitive, Natural Born Killers, The Shawshank Redemption, Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, Seven, oops, what the hell, L.A. Confidential, The Matrix, The Notebook, the Million Dollar Baby, uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the Kid, King, Theatrical Edition, so bullshit, The Departed, 300, The Dark Knight, The Hangover, the Blind Sign, Sherlock Holmes, and Inception. And there's a bonus disc. So, great movies. Most of them great movies. Very disappointing. Very disappointing pre presentation, in my opinion. So that concludes... Well, I took back the DVDs. That concludes part one, or episode one, of my DVD collection. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope that you will join me in part two, in which I will tackle this entire closet of DVDs. Take care, everybody, and I hope that you have an amazing. I've changed, I've changed, I've changed, I've changed.